Dana White doesn't mind voicing his feelings even if they're harsh. When he believes someone is harming his UFC brand in some way, he will become a huge critic of athletes, judges, athletic commissions, and referees. Let's dive into the video and look at five situations where Dana White found referees to be awful. And trust us, you're going to look at the man pretty differently by the end of it. First off, at number five, Dana White versus Steve Mazzagatti. A little while after the Ultimate Fighter Season 19 finale, Dana White unleashed one of his most famous outbursts at a referee. There were many cautions and issues in the decisive match between Team Edgar Ian Stevens and Team Penn's Roger Zapata. Ian Stevens controlled rounds one and two, but Roger Zapata stole the show after getting repeated warnings from referee Steve Mazzagatti for holding onto the cage and throwing illegal elbows. But despite Stevens' clear advantage, a third round was required. Dana White later confirmed that while one judge had given Stevens a 10-9 victory in the third round, the other two judges had given Zapata a 10-9 victory. After applying the point deduction, the final scores were 10-8 for Stevens, 9-9, and 9-9. After that, the judges were told to check the name of the man they thought deserved to win. When all three judges decided in favor of Zapata, the UFC president attacked the referee. Dana later told the media that the decision was quite controversial and that for a very long time the promotion was in disagreement with Mazzagetti. We don't directly know the individual, but he simply isn't a decent referee. He also criticized Steve Mazzagetti for his poor performance and argued that Mazzagetti's refereeing is never fully understood by anyone. Before getting into big fights on big stages and having an effect on people's careers and lives, the guy needs a lot more practice. Dana White's feelings towards Steve Mazzagetti have been talked about frequently, and the UFC president is not known for easily forgetting past wrongs. It seems unlikely that Dana will ever grow to like Steve Mazzagatti. Moving on to number four, Dana White blasts Chris Tugnani at UFC Fight Night 177. There were several finishers at UFC Fight Night 177, but the one with the light heavyweights Mike Rodriguez and Ed Herman made Dana White totally lose it. Referee Chris Tugnani made a significant error that resulted in the loser winning by submission rather than the winner. Dana roasted the referee at the post-fight conference, saying that it was some Mazzagatti-style mess-up. In his eyes, it was one of the worst things he's ever watched. In the second round of the fight, Mike Rodriguez would seem to strike Ed Herman in the crotch. Herman crashed to the ground, and Rodriguez obeyed protocol by withdrawing. The hit was actually to Herman's right rib cage, as was found out later after watching the take. Due to referee Chris Tugnani's error, what should have been a TKO victory for Rodriguez instead turned into a later submission victory for Herman. Up next at number three, Dana White calls Al Guiney, Arizona Mazzagani, after a late stoppage. The president of the UFC criticized referee Al Guiney for stopping the Paul Craig versus Jamal Hill match late. After tense exchanges throughout the buildup, the two fighters were ready for a violent showdown. But when they did clash inside Arizona's Gila River Arena, the action only lasted a little over two minutes. Paul Craig, the underdog, had his hand raised, but Jamal Hill nearly broke his. Hill's arm was clearly broken and flailing all around when Craig placed him in an arm lock. Paul Craig later recalled that Hill's hand fell like a wet fish dancing all over my body and that he could immediately feel it. But perhaps referee Al Guiney didn't read things as clearly. The most critical of Al Guiney was Dana, to no one's surprise. He said at the UFC 263 post-fight press conference that one should probably break up a fight when one arm is flailing around in both directions like this. What's more, Dana White jokingly called the referee the Arizona Mazzagetti after learning from the media that he was known for making poor calls. Moving to the second best pick on our list. Dana White hits out at Leon Roberts for horrible stoppage during Jan versus Aldo fight. At the UFC 251 post-fight press conference, referee Leon Roberts came under fire from Dana White. The UFC Bantamweight Championship, which was held by Henry Ciuto until his retirement, was contested between Jose Aldo and Petter Jan. The first three rounds were fairly evenly matched, but that changed after Jan hit Aldo with a flurry of unreturned blows that forced a stoppage. During the last round, Jose Aldo locked up and did little to nothing to strengthen his position or protect himself, despite the Russians' repeated strikes. Whatever the case, referee Leon Roberts let the battle continue until the 324 mark of round five before interfering to bring an end to it. Dana lashed out at the poor refereeing, saying that the referee's pause was just horrible. He strongly believed that it needed to be stopped much earlier, and that at Fight Island, it seemed that the promotion needs to tighten up its referees 
and judges. Taking up our number one spot on the list, Dana White calls Mario Yamasaki disgusting. Dana White has probably been frustrated by Mario Yamasaki more than any other referee, perhaps including Steve Mazzagatti. For his poor rulings during the Valentina Shevchenko versus Priscilla Cachoeira match in 2018, Yamasaki received harsh criticism from the UFC CEO. Shevchenko, who entered the fight as a huge favorite, easily defeated Cachoeira before submitting her in round two. On learning this, Dana fired on Yamasaki, saying that, I think it's disgusting. I think he is disgusting and I never want to see him refing ever again. Dana believed that Cachoeira really did battle heroically. He held nothing back in the post-match conference and lashed out at Yamasaki, calling him a clown for claiming that Cachoeira had the chance to become a warrior because of his decision. No, he's there to safeguard her from harming herself. He has disgusted us. Dana sounded very assured when he said that Yamasaki has no business refereeing fights and that he'll make sure we never see him again. Here are all the other times Dana White was angry. With his champions, Dana White has faced his share of problems. He wouldn't hold back from expressing his thoughts, regardless of how amazing they were or how much money they brought in. Making errors during big fights is the one thing that angers Dana White the most. The best time to witness Dana White upset about something that went wrong during a UFC event is during post-fight press conferences. He frequently becomes irritated with officials, UFC refs, and his fighters as well. He's more vocal than the chiefs of other professional sports leagues, which some people could find refreshing. Some, meanwhile, could argue that he should keep any disagreements with a fighter to himself. In at number five on our list, White angry with former UFC two-division champion Conor McGregor. In the octagon, Conor McGregor has received several recognitions, but Dana doesn't seem to be a huge fan of his behavior outside the octagon. It makes sense that the former two-division champion's fame and spotlight would make him want to be treated differently from other fighters and receive special treatment. It's bad for Dana's business when Conor's emotions get the better of him. The bus incident at UFC 223 was the most famous instance of the UFC president being furious. Mystic Mac intervened when a fight broke out between Habib Nurmagomedov and his teammate Artem Lobov. Up next at number four, White angry with former UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones. Dana has regarded John Jones as the best of all time, but he's also been upset with him frequently. The former champion's poor personal choices have been addressed by the UFC president. The former light heavyweight champion's image was destroyed by the hit and run event, and the USADA suspension made matters worse. The main event of UFC 200 was initially supposed to be a rematch between Bones and Daniel Cormier, but Jones's negative USADA test for a drug caused the fight to be called off two days before it was scheduled. Following up at number three, White criticizes former UFC welterweight champion Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley and Dana have previously had a tense relationship. He believed that the chosen one wasn't an interesting fighter to watch, which was one of his main critiques. This prevented the former champion from competing against George St. Pierre in a profitable fight. The UFC president was especially critical of Woodley's defense of himself against Demi and Maya at UFC 214. The champion would have defeated him much sooner, according to him, and the public wouldn't want to see him compete after that. Then at number two, Dana angry at Georges St. Pierre versus Johnny Hendricks results. Over the years, Dana White and Georges St. Pierre have enjoyed a largely positive relationship. As the greatest welterweight champion in UFC history, the former two division champion earned his reputation. The UFC president was super angry by his final championship defense against Johnny Hendricks. Many thought it was unfair when Rush successfully defended his championship against Big Rig by split decision at UFC 167. Despite taking many heavy blows, the judges still gave GSP the victory. The UFC president thought Hendricks was denied a decision and attacked the judging for the main event. Leading at the number one spot in our list, White angry with Anderson Silva's performance at UFC 112. Anderson Silva has earned praise from Dana White for his talents and for being one of the all-time great fighters. Dana was enraged by Silva despite Silva's win and his championship defense against Damian Maya at UFC 112. At the time, the Spider was the middleweight champion of the UFC and had an impressive record of knocking out opponents. Also, the question of who was the world's best fighter pound for pound, St. Pierre or him, was frequently brought up. If Silva were to overcome Maya, it seemed as though the fans would learn the answer to that question. But the UFC president was so enraged by his actions during the bout that he fled during the main event. That's a wrap for this video. What other angry Dana moments do you
you think should be in this video. Let us know in the comments and give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next one.